Hello everyone, this is uh, Aaron again, and this is, I'm just kind of showing the back end of as I'm developing this uh, technology PD for everyone. Um, just kind of how I'm putting stuff together in case maybe you're, you're not quite sure. So what I'm doing here is adding the video I made, uh, I guess it's a foot class in some respects, a video about the new add a question option or create a question option here in the Google Classroom. In this video is just going to show you how I'm going to turn that into an assignment. So I'm going to go here to create an assignment, which many of you probably already know. Uh, I'm just going to call this Flip PD um, Learning About Creating a Question. And I'm just going to call this Google Updates. I'm going to put the due date. Um, I'm gonna make this on the 9th. I'm actually gonna make the time. Uh, let's make this by 1 p.m. because that's when the PD is gonna be. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach my work here. So I've already got the stuff created. So what I wanna use is I want to create this form and I want to add this URL okay and it looks like it's not gonna allow me to add a form yet which is a update that I know is coming maybe it just hasn't been activated yet we have to add a link to the form where that's what it showed down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here now. I'm gonna send the form. I'm gonna grab this link here to the form. Just go back to my classroom. This is gonna be a feature that's gonna be added. And so I just want to I want to test it and obviously it's not working yet. So I'm gonna put in there Google updates fill out the link after watching the video and there it is it's going to be a sign now they should be able to go here watch the video there it is. Going to go into the tutorial about posing a question. And then the form is right here for them to fill out just a brief little format. This is going to help me drive my PD for future sessions. Uh, just some quick questions for them to answer. So there it is. It's right there. Uh, I don't know if they'll let me edit. It'd be nice to be able to edit this title. So maybe that's something I'll suggest to Google. But for now, there's kind of how I added a multi-tiered. So within the assignment, I can add all the things in there. So uh, what I might do is go back and maybe just enhance these directions a little bit. So step one, please watch the video. Step two, click on the Google form and complete the short question set. Step three, any questions, please email Aaron Bauer. There, so now that looks much better. Boom, boom, there you go. There is one assignment for them to work on it. This is what's gonna be nice about flipping this. If you do this in your own classroom, is now kids can check this out, they can do this work. Now when we go to our PD, which would be equivalent of your classroom, we can then dive into, we don't need to waste time trying to do the introductory stuff because it's just basic knowledge of how to. Now when we're together with people, we can brainstorm and really troubleshoot, take things to the next level and figure things out, which I think is going to not only improve PD, but can also improve classroom instruction if you're thinking about flipping your classroom. So there it is, just some information about how I created the assignment. Many of you probably already know that, but just in case you didn't, there it is. And if you have other tips, suggestions, or ideas, Feel free to reach out, let me know, and um, 
continue to keep sharing everything there is to know about all these updates and, and features in Google Classroom and Drive and all that good stuff.